What's going on Star Wars fans and Black Series collectors got another addition to the gaming greats line here with Darth Malgus from Star Wars The Old Republic. I'm really, really excited about this one. Pick this up one, pick this one up through work. Um, Kessel Run here in collectibles.com.au. Um, don't have any more in stock, um, but shoot us an email if you're keen. Um, go to the website, there's a contact us form. If you want to try and get it, we can try and get one in for you if you're, um, you know, if you're keen. But uh, yeah, let it, pretty excited about this one. Um, this is a, a deluxe one, first one from the Old Republic video game. And uh, one that people have been hyping up a fair bit. We've seen some early reviews from a few folks and he's looking, looking the quality. Um, so it says here on the back, Darth Malgus, a legendary Sith Lord, Darth Malgus emerges from hiding with a mysterious plan that could secure his legacy in the annals of the Sith. So he's number 24. Just a little bit of extra info on the back there while I adjust my <laughs> camera. Seven inches, standing at 17.8 centimeters. So this is a, uh, this is a big boy. I'm looking forward to it. So we're going to bust him open right here on camera. And take a look. So I'm do the uh, honors of quickly cutting through the cardboard. We're not playing around with tape and all that garbage. So recently done the Darth Vader Jules End review. It's nice to sort of see figures back in the uh, the window packaging. So just straight out the gate we're going to take a look at his lightsaber. And that is huge. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a big lightsaber. Now I do have that Darth Vader here. And uh, yeah, the lightsaber goes up to his shoulder and in comparison to Vader's lightsaber. It's uh, just a little bit bigger. So that's, that's dope. All right, let's see here. Oh, yes. There he is, the mighty Darth Malgus. Now I remember when the uh, three and three quarter inch one came out in the vintage collection some years ago. He was a uh, he was very highly sought after. Of course, the Old Republic was very much in its in its youth. I mean, coming out, I think 2010, maybe 11. So everything was pretty new. Those cinematic trailers still blow my mind to this day. And I have seen a few additions over the years. So straight off the back, we're going to do a bit of a size comparison to that Darth Vader. We know Vader's a pretty tall figure. We we'll put him side by side. He's not exactly dwarfing him, but Malgus is pretty tall. So that's, you know, that, that's pretty solid. It's a pretty big figure. It definitely feels more in scale with like McFarlane, McFarlane seven inch stuff, obviously, because he's seven inches tall. But um, yeah, this is absolutely unreal. So you've got a soft goods cape and hood. And the way the hood is sort of folded down the front here, when you put it over, it looks, it sits really, really nicely. And if you sort of pull it back a little bit, it still sits quite nice on the figure. So that's really cool. We're pulling that back. It's not so bulky that it, it's not difficult to, uh, to do. Now I'm just looking at his breathing apparatus here because I believe that is removable and it looks to be um, whether I have to pop off the head, I'm not sure. But what I'll do is I'll just sort of shift it down. We can take a look at his face. And because he is so tall, I'm going to raise the camera up. So that's pretty nice. He's looking good. So got a 
those Sithy, Sithy red eyes. I will discover a way to remove that. So I might have to pop off the head to be able to do it. No, I'm not going to do that right now. Because he's brand new, I don't want to ruin it straight away. But yeah, he's, uh, he's a very imposing looking figure. Love his armor suit. His sort of armor plates. Sort of the padded suit, very reminiscent of sort of Vader with his gloves and sort of padded outfit. Nice details in the sculpt here on the arms. There's a few nice little details along there. And on this arm as well. With the back. That looks nice. Nice big boots. They look pretty tough. So we'll look at the articulation. He does have a double jointed neck, so one in the lower neck, one in the upper neck, in the head. He does have ball joints in the shoulders with the butterfly butterfly joint just to allow a little bit of articulation. And these shoulder pads can swivel around as well just to you know maximize that that level of articulation up and down and sort of swivel around with the arms as well as a separate piece ball hinge in the elbows we get a nice range of movement there ball hinge in the wrists as well let's have a joint in the upper torso and lower torso so just in here a bit of an ab crunch and then a sort of a, a little bit more of a swivel than anything on the uh, waist but it will move a little bit more than that with the ball hinged thighs and uh, yeah this is one of the early figures that I've gotten that had, has had the uh, swivel cut removed from the thigh um, so I'm not sure how I feel about that yet I kind of it's kind of nice to sort of see that sort of sculpt in one sort of solid piece rather than be broken up. Um, whereas normally I feel like that upper thigh may be sort of separate and the swivel might be sort of cut and left in behind it. But, you know, considering normal humans can't <laughs> move their legs, it was definitely nice. Um, yeah, I'm still undecided how I feel about the look of these joints here that are taking over feels like a little bit of a budget cut thing for me um, but I mean if it makes the sculpt look a little bit better and you do get a little bit of sort of in and out movement which is you know probably a little bit more accurate to human anatomy <laughs> because we can't just sort of spin our leg at the top of the leg there so why well, can't I don't know about you you'd let me know if you can <laughs> um, yeah hinges in the knees so you know that's enough that's enough movement there a uh, hinge in the ankles and a swivel on the rocker there on the front of the foot. So yeah, you'd be able to pose this guy up pretty pretty well, I think. There won't be too many dramas there. And I definitely hope this isn't the uh this isn't gonna be the last last figure we see from the old republic. There's some great some great characters. Satil Shan would be uh ideal to go with him, we might see that in seven years. <laughs> Based on how long it took to get Darth Malak out to go with uh, Revan and Bastila Shan. But yeah, he's a he's a solid, solid action figure. He looks this guy's awesome. I love it. I think you definitely jump into the top 10 for me this year, along with the uh, Vader I reviewed the other day, the Jules End Vader. Let's see, yeah, that is nice. That's removable. 
And yeah, there's nowhere to attach that to his belt, but that's okay because he's going to hold this and just be brutal. <laughs> but yeah, definitely wouldn't object to some more Old Republic characters, figures in the line. I've done a couple with the uh, vintage collection with Jace Malcolm, the the Republic trooper. But yeah, love the love the size of this figure. He's so imposing. He's just going to be a awesome piece once I get my displays happening here for my Black Series figures. to the side very sort of white and pale very reminiscent of uh, old Anakin Skywalker taking his head off obviously you know a lot of the designs from the old Republic are very reminiscent of you know existing ideas such as Darth Vader Anakin just with a slight different twist on it There's nothing wrong with that but yeah he looks really good I'd love to hear your thoughts, guys. Please send it in the comments below. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please, I hope you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. I know I'm closing in on 5,000 very, very quickly, um, which I'm super duper pumped about. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's coming up quick. So I do appreciate everyone's support. And to my members, stick around, you get a little bit of a shout out at the end, as always. This is Darth Malgus. I hope you've enjoyed this one. We'll see you again for some more reviews very, very soon. Until then, may the Force be with you always.